In this tutorial, I'll be showing you the brand new blog posts app block we've just released for BuddyBoss app, allowing you to select specific blog posts to display in your app pages. The posts display in a swipeable carousel similar to the groups block. You can tap a specific post to open it, or you can tap see all to go to the blog index showing all of your blog posts from your WordPress site. So now let's jump into the WordPress admin so I can show you how to configure this new app block. Here I am in the WordPress admin, editing an app page. Let's add a new block to this page. If I scroll down to the BuddyBoss app block section, you can see we've added this new block for blog posts. Let's go ahead and add this block to our app page. And then I'll move it to the top of the page. And just like our other app blocks, this provides a representative preview of what the block will look like in the app. So now let's go into the block settings. And you can see the default title is set to blog. I can change it to anything I want. I'll call this one latest news. And then we could give the block a background color. I'll just leave it as transparent. And then we've provided a bunch of options to select which posts will appear on the block. You can apply our various filters, or you can select to show specific posts. Let's leave it for now to filter posts, and then we can apply some filters. I can order the posts by newest or alphabetical. Let's set it to alphabetical. And then I can set it to ascending or descending alphabetically. For sticky posts, I can choose to include them, exclude them, or to filter the list to only sticky posts. For now, I'll leave it as include, and I can filter the post down to specific categories or tags, comma separated. And then I can also filter the post down to only the posts that were written by specific authors. I can filter to only show posts that are from a specific date. This drop-down list is limited to only showing dates which contain posts. And lastly, I can set how many items to show in the carousel. So now all of these filters are being applied to the block, giving you fine-grained control over what editorial content to display in your app page. And of course, you could add multiple instances of this block on one app page each with its own unique title and showing different types of content. Let's scroll back up and I'll switch it to specific posts. Using this method, instead of applying a bunch of filters, you can simply select the exact blog posts that you want to display in the block. And then we can click update. And just like that, the block will appear in the app. We're very excited to be launching this new app block. This has been a highly requested feature and we're really happy to finally have it in your hands.